the stars of Ghost Rider. What was it about this particular project and character that stood out to you? Well, when I first auditioned, I kind of like didn't really know anything about it. It was like a new show that I wasn't aware of before. And I had to do like a little bit of digging because they had like a secret name, but it wasn't that hard to find because <laughs> What I usually do is I search up the director's name, producer's name, and I found it easily. And I never done like a role where I had to do like a mystery kind of like um, journey kind of role. So it was my first lead to be exact and a mystery role that I was very excited for. And Mia, she she's kind of the opposite of me. So I was like, it's time for me to have a little range, you know, like be a little quiet girl. Cause me, myself, I'm like more talkative and more like, like outgoing and Mia is like more to herself. So I was very really excited to like play a role that's like more kind of quiet and to herself. How did you find out the news that you booked the role and how did you celebrate? Well, I just found out from my manager that I booked the role and I like, I had like a lot of callbacks and a chemistry call with Darren Noor. And I was like, okay, I think I got it. And I was just very excited because I'd never been to Canada before and I had mm -hmm. to go for six months and it was just like, whoa, like my, me and my family were like so excited for me. And it was just so exciting. Me and my mom, we went out to dinner and my family, it was just, it was nice. Like you're just saying, you know, this character is so different from who you are. As an actress, is that more fun to play? Is that a bigger challenge for you? I think it's fun because like, you get to be a different person. Like, that's why I really love acting, like yeah. in general, because you get to play roles that are not really yourself and you could be different people in front of a camera and it's like a new world and a new like experience so that's what I really love about it and there's such a great chemistry that comes off the screen between you and the rest of the cast how were you all able to build that bond and friendship it wasn't hard like when I first met Dare and Nor in person we like even in the call the chemistry call it was I had to do like a different like um different takes with different um people but when I got into the room with Dare and Nor I instantly knew that this is going to be our group. Like we're going to be working together. And it was like, it was like, we all knew because we talked about it when we booked it, we all knew that we were going to be working together. And in person working with them, it was just, it was fun. Like they became my best friends and I really loved working with them and the rest of the cast. They were all honestly so amazing. And everyone was just so fun. Yeah. Do you have a favorite behind the scenes moment? Oh, there's so many, but one that always comes to mind is like the cabin scenes during the um the mouse and the motorcycle arc that one was one of my favorite because behind the scenes it was just like at nighttime the atmosphere was different so it was a lot of funny moments we had because like <laughs> we, we did this one we did this one scene where we had to like go in this box us all three of us it was like out of the tunnels, but it was actually just the box. So we had to keep on recording and recording and recording and getting back in the box and squishing all in there and coming out. So it was just, it was just very funny doing that because Nora was just like, oh, because he's just always in the back <laughs> of the box. It was, it was amazing. It was fun. This is such a huge franchise to be a part of. What has it meant to you to be part of this Ghost Rider legacy? And what has it been like getting to see the fan response on social media? I'm actually really honored because, especially playing Nia, Nia, yeah. she experiences racism through the show. And um, I also experience racism like in real life. And I, I, I'm happy that I get to spread that message to younger little girls, especially younger little black girls who also experience things like me. And it, it tells them that you're not alone and it shows them how to become stronger instead of letting that experience make you weaker. So I'm very, very excited to spread that message around the world and to all the little boys and girls who've gone through that. You answered my next question, but you know, the writers have thrown so much at your character and you've handled that journey with so much nuance. As an actress, how do you create the space to get into that uh, emotional arc that we see unfold throughout the, the season? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, like I have to tap into something I've experienced yeah. because throughout, um, middle school, elementary school, I was, I did experience racism, like for my hair, my skin, my facial features. If someone told me to go back to where I came from in second grade, and it definitely is hard to experience that, but it definitely helped me throughout my acting because I can tap into what I've actually been through and to put it out there. And it, it was difficult to just stay in that mode, but it wasn't hard to tap into it. Mm -hmm. 
Great answer. And like you're saying, this is one of your first lead roles. Did anything surprise you about the experience? What was the biggest lesson that you learned that you're going to now be able to apply to future projects? Yeah. Do you have a favorite episode that you filmed? Was there a scene in particular that you're really excited for audiences to see and which was the most challenging to film? Hmm, I think I like I like the scenes that I had to like uh, act out as if I was the criminal. Those were definitely very fun. And I'm excited to see the audience to see like more of Nia growing. That's mm -hmm. like a lot of fun because she got to have people sign this petition and going around. And it was definitely fun filming those scenes and and the mommy wants scenes. The mommy wants scenes were one of my favorites because that arc was just so nice. We were on the boat a lot. Mommy wants her whole her whole outfit and wardrobe is just so beautiful. And I'm very excited for people to see that. Uh, if you had to describe this season in one sentence, what would it be? A magical journey where you don't know what's going to happen next.